Hey everyone. <sighs> we are quite often our own worst enemy, aren't we? We are. We put ourselves last. That's not good. We talk down to ourselves, about ourselves, to ourselves. We are the hardest on ourselves quite often. But why? Why are you doing that? You don't need to. It's not needed. It's not necessary. It's not helpful one little bit. Not even a little. It's not helpful. It's not. So today I want you to be aware of your thoughts and your actual physical words when you are thinking about yourself, your life, your dream, your goals, your passions, anything to do with you. Be aware of those thoughts and be aware of the words that you use. And when you're speaking to someone else, be aware of how you're speaking about yourself and your life and the things that you are doing. Be aware of that. Stay positive. Stay positive and you must uh, be aware of this. Be aware of what you're doing. You are creating your own failure when you are not being aware of your words and the choices of those words. You have to lift yourself up. You have to believe in yourself. Believe in your goals and your dreams and your path. Because if you don't believe in it, who is? Who is going to? We can't depend on someone else to lift us up. We have to lift ourselves up. You are worth it, you know. There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with you. You are a beautiful soul, just as you are. We are all a work in progress. We all are. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. But you are perfectly you, and I am perfectly me. That's right. You have to believe in yourself and talk good about yourself, even if it's in your thoughts. Think of yourself in a positive way. Do not get up in the morning, look in the mirror, and look at all the things that are wrong with you. Or all of the things that you don't like about yourself. Look at the things you love about yourself. And embrace every aspect of you that you love. Embrace it. Stop looking at the freckle that you don't like. Stop looking at the shape of your nose color of your hair, the color of your eyes, or any other part of your body. Stop looking at what you don't know or you can't do, or at least the things that you think you can't do, because really, you can do anything you want. Okay, so, yeah, there are probably some things that not everybody can do, but come on, let's just, let's, let's not get that detailed. You get my point. Look at all the things that are wonderful about you and embrace those things. Embrace your beauty. When you can do that, I guarantee you, your life is going to change. Stop picking away at yourself and start loving yourself. Everything. You are worthy of great, wonderful love. And we have to start in this life by loving ourselves. Just as we are. Every flaw, every stretch mark, every freckle, every imperfection. Every pound. We have to love us first. If we don't love us. There is no hope for love, is there? Try it. Look in the mirror today. Don't look at anything that you don't like. I want you to love every freckle. Every freckle. 
I want you to look at yourself in the eyes and fall in love with yourself all over again. I want you to look at yourself and see the beauty that is in there. Because it's there. Oh, is it there. Love yourself. It's so important. Remember, you have the power to create the world you've always dreamed of. You do. Get outside. Touch the earth. Cleanse your space. Please, 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 please do your meditations. I promise you're going to enjoy it. Remember that this warrior, this wolf, and the raven, and spirit, we love you just as you are. Just exactly as you are. Thank you.